I was just going to go over some uh, trends, oh, there's a couple of trends. Right. <clears throat> so over here, you had a uh, you know you had some sideways movement, and then you had this uh, big rally, right? About 142 stocks advanced. I forget if this is four million or 400k, but there's money coming into the market. You can see it on the big wave here. Yeah. So you have money coming into the market, 142 advance, and now it continues to rally, 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 rally until this point here. So th this is this is where it got a little bit confusing on this down wave because this down wave broke a lot of lows. It broke um, it broke a lot of lows, right? Um, so it was rally here, pull back, tick, 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 and then went down and hit a support level. But it gave the impression that it broke uh, multiple lows and, and it was a downtrend. But notice how there's no lower low. So it didn't create trend. It just went all the way back down to support. It didn't make a lower low. So that's very important to note. And um, it was bought. And then finally, what am I doing here? And finally it goes up, 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 up. And there's a big wave right over here. I think this was climactic because the volume, uh, the money and the volume and all of that came in was pretty substantial. I think this is over 10 million or 1 million, I forget. Anyway, so here it was climactic. Finally here, you have big volume and it didn't, it was unable to hold. Take a look. That brick right there had the biggest volume in a hundred bricks. And what happened? It went down. So when that happens, like when you have that, it, they're selling the highs. And all you need is a change of trend at that point. And the trend changes down, up, down, making low, low here. So 268 stocks declined. Volume, let's just call it 1.2 million. And um, and it offered a test, but this is not really a test, this is buying. How you know is this, <clears throat> this right here. How you know is buying is because it made a higher high. So money's coming into the market big money and stocks advance so this this is actually a change of behavior this is a sign of strength and it had a hard pullback you know but it's not really breaking in terms of the money right it went up it went down but then it, then the supply pressure faded right here but on three and and it transformed so what, the question is, why is it doing that? Why is it coming all the way down to support and springing? So if you, you know, if you listen to what I've been saying in the past, when you have markets that are in downtrends, right? Meaning on the daily chart, when it's on a downtrend and they're about to go up or whatever, maybe a pullback or some retracement, when you counter trend, they counter trends have more springs and up thrusts. It's that simple. So if this was if the market was going up, it would not pull back all the way, all the way down in spring. All right, or at least the chances are less likely. However, when you counter trend, the chances of springs and up thrusts against the extreme low is highly, is just um, very likely. You see the failures. Failures will happen, or springs, and up to us, whatever you counter trend. Okay, that this is a well-known, I don't know if it's well-known, but I've seen and experienced it too many times not to know that that's what happens. Anyway, long story short, 
135 rally, you have volume confirming and all of that goes up, 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 bang. Here, 181, and the volume is quite high, 17. So, uh, it was the climax. So, here's another example. You know, you have this downtrend, ding, 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 and then you have 133 stocks, they rally. Okay, so this right here, you change your behavior, right, right here, confirms with a higher high, but then what happens, it goes and it springs, okay? So this is all because the daily trend is down and possibly because it's in markdown. So when that happens, Counter trend maneuvers will have more uh, springs. So if you have a downtrend, in this case, the daily is down. So what are you gonna do? You, you just have to uh, have in your mind that the chances of a spring is more very likely. And that's what happens. And then from after it springs, it rallies. When this market goes back into an uptrend, this type of behavior will be less likely and in fact, it will be on the other side, meaning there'll be more up thrusts that are like that. You have heavy sign of weakness, and then you'll have that what they call up thrust after distribution, that type of behavior, which is actually an up thrust after sign of weakness. That's what is gonna happen. All right, so, so how did you know that there was gonna be a reversal here? That's a question I'm gonna focus on today. And it's just simple. Stocks, 103, going up, being confirmed by volume. And this is actually, I think, dollar volume, but you can use volume or dollar volume, doesn't matter. So you have money coming in and stocks advancing. So what do you think is gonna happen? Change in trend, done. 